And now, the definition of a ravine. A deep, narrow gorge with steep sides. So, if I have to be... If I have to look into this, I mean, this is pretty steep and narrow. Well, there's some steep sides, and it's very gorge-like, and I mean, it's a narrow path, so... I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'd say... Whoa! What the hell was that? <laughs> I flipped for joy for actually in the definition of what a ravine is. That that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say. Oh man, I mean it's pretty it's pretty much exactly that definite whatever, it doesn't matter. No one gives a shit, Gildum. Just move on with the fifth colossus. Okay. Alright. By the way, have I mentioned we're already a quarter of the colossi? Like we've already gone through a quarter of them. They're done. Because uh there's sixteen colossus, so or colossi, I guess I should say, if I'm trying to be more accurate and uh, pluralized colossus. I mean, really, when it comes down to it, that's that's what we're at. You know, we got four, we're on the fifth. Which, by the way, I've affectionately nicknamed the Flying Dick. But, you know, we'll get into that in a second. I mean, it'll be made apparent through uh, what it does and, you know, the whole entire battle in it and of itself and my heavy... And my heavy editing of having to do it over and over again, but that's not the point. Oh yeah, it's a giant flying stone bird. How that can even maintain flight is beyond me, but I don't even care. I'm not here to ask why or how. I'm just here to do. As in, I have to defeat it. Do I feel bad? I don't know. This might be one of those few exceptions. I mean, that lizard kind of taught me that violence is okay, especially in this game. I mean, let's be honest. I, I have to save my girlfriend or sister. <laughs> Hey, one of the two. I seem to be pretty attached to her, but to be honest, I mean, a lot of the game pretty much dictates it's probably a girlfriend. A lot of a lot of the a lot of the actions by our main protagonist Wander here. He he seems to seems to be more depicted as like his love interest. Anyways, so you might be asking, how do we do? Because it's kind of there, I'm kind of here, I can't really interact with it, except if I throw an arrow at it, you know, signifying, go fuck yourself. Also, I should mention, timing is very key, because it's going to do this. If you mess up, it, you get hurt. If you don't mess up, you do this. Now, the real, the real battle begins, and let me tell you something, it's not a fun battle, because it flies, and likewise, it... it it just, it just does everything with its wings and it, you know, it tries to knock you off. It's very aerial acrobatic. I'm, I'm going to cry a little bit inside, but you know, my own problems. Not important. What's important is we got to find that glyph and it constantly shifts. That's the other part of the battle here, but you know, I, I found it. Okay. So watch as your stamina meter gets drained. Oh man, I did it, I did it, oh I'm so proud of myself. Now here's the real other struggle with it, when you stab it, it just does this one move that just drains the shit out of your, out of your stamina. So trying to recover, it's kind of a pain, a little bit of a pain here. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta plan this carefully. If I'm successful, which I know I will not be, uh, to be honest, I plan, I plan on failing this so hard, you know, cause, uh, it, it, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not fun, it's not a fun Colossus battle. It really is not. Every, everything he l does, every little move he makes, trains your stamina. It, it's a very painful battle if I have to say, oh man, I'm gonna fall off. This is what this battle is all about, pain and falling off and crying about it. And I'm about to do just that. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, it hurts so bad, viewers. You know, I, I'm just, I'm just cut it. You don't need to see me get back on there.
The flying dick! I'm back! Okay! The real problem with this battle is that, that I ha oh, the glyph is gone, okay. I happen to know where the glyph is. It's in a little bit of a more easy access place. I just gotta be very careful that I don't fall off! No, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Let me climb on you, man! <laughs> this whole battle has been very awkward, especially in my nicknaming of you, giant bird thing. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, I know where it is. It's right here. This is pretty much a more easy to access place. It's a little bit of a break of the cosmic norms because I can easily do this kind of this this kind of stuff. Oh man, it does not like this. It disappeared before I could actually I could actually do anything. It disappeared. Whoa, I'm gonna fall off. Wait, I forgot. This is this is a little tail feather place. It's it's a lot easier to maneuver. Of course, still gotta be a little careful, because if I'm not, I'm gonna fall off and then I'm gonna cry about it, and as you viewers know, I do cry internally a lot. I uh, or maybe you didn't. In fact, if you didn't, you're probably better off not knowing my own baggage. Anyways, not the point. Point is, as soon as I- Oh no, stop it, stop it, stop it! Stop flapping your wings, you're fine, you're fine, you got altitude, okay? Again, I don't know how you work. I'm not here to ask questions! God, I missed my- I missed my chance. I miss. Oh man, this is gonna be one of those make air break it where I have to- I have to. Oh, I'm right there! I just need- I just need a dink it. I just need- I just- I just need a dink it. I need a dink- I- Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it! Uh, uh, get some! Some of you are like Gildum. Don't you feel bad about your actions? I mean, that's kind of the constant theme every time you beat a Colossus. Not this one, baby! Oh no! He was a flying dick, much like the other one. I don't feel bad at all. I guess you could say I'm very selective choosing of the Colossus. I feel terrible, and the Colossus I- Oh! <laughs> Ow! My heart. Well, that, that was a very weird place to get interrupted, but, you know, I, I digress. I don't care, you know, I beat the fifth one. I, I It's dead. It's done. I can move on past my life. And you know what else? You know what else? This is the most important thing. Um, we're on our way to their our sixth one. I think I'm going to have to implement a new form of editing and, and a new segment in this whole entire LP. Uh, but before that, we got a cutscene. Oh man, a temple? Less for destruction? What kind of colossus do we have coming up? Well, if you want, if you want, 
A little sneak peek, a little foreshadowing, to be honest. It's my favorite of the Colossus. Yeah, number six, baby. That's gonna be the one. That's gonna be the one where all my hopes and dreams come true, but uh, until then, we got exploration, because you know how this works. You know me, I like to explore. And granted, I have to be honest, I think for you, the viewers, it's not nearly as entertaining, you know. For me, it's like, ooh, a tree, or ooh. Ooh, a shit is I'm getting tongue tied because I can't say save shrine. I'm having trouble trying to pronounce and enunciate and do whatever I have to do to communicate. I digress. A point is so for the most part, I haven't really had to do any sort of like thing to save time because you know, like generally it's just we're going to like the set path to the Colossus, go like explore a little bit, you know. This is kind of like the downtime, the chilling part where it's like, hey, let's get some one on one with me, Geldum. Here I am, at a tree. Let's get some fruit. And Grand, I gotta be honest, you gotta have a sharp eye for some of this because uh, the fruit can be very deceptively hidden between the leaves if you're not careful. You can miss a couple pieces. Granted, it's not a huge penalty if I have to be honest. Because, I mean, there's a lot of fruit. And also, I feel like you don't need all the power-ups. I mean, they help a lot. Trust me, with some of these Colossi, they will shake you and shake you and it will get annoying and you'll run out of stamina and then you'll fall off and it'll be like, it'll be like, you know, the flying dick battle. That, that wasn't fun. Granted, I did not fail nearly as much as I thought I would, but at the same time, not falling off would have been fantastic, you know. Would have saved us a whole lot of time that, you know, we really could use, especially for this part. Because exploration is key. And also, I like to, like to increase my stats, namely my health and my stamina. Both are very key into what I'm trying to do. Now, I do admit, I could be using a guide to kind of, like, figure out all these things. I'm not. I'm just playing the game oh no, oh natural. Because, uh, I, I kind of feel like it, you know? I, I don't feel like it's necessary to get everything. Granted, it helps, you know? And, like, you'll be the best that you can be. And that that's really yeah. genuine, you know? That, that's straight up, like, good. Granted, you know, I, I'm not gonna. I, I feel like I don't need to. I feel like as a player, I can do this with uh, yeah. just, you know, kind of exploring at my own, like, digression. At my own pace. There we go. That's a better term. Yes. I can, I can improve myself on my own, like, pace. I can do it. Like, because, you know, I know how to game. I know how to do the thing. I, I've done it before. I've been in this game. I, I swear. I, I, I'm not terrible. <laughs> Trying to boost that confidence, baby. You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, that's not the point. The point is, hey, it's Save Shrine. I'm sure there's a lizard. Everyone wants a lizard. Oh, man. You know, I should probably just cut it now because, as you can tell, this is going to take me forever. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to aim. I'm going to snipe him oh so carefully as soon as I can get my bearings. I, 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 missed, I missed my chance. I'm such a failure. You know, the real tragedy about this is that I have to go around hunting down these lizards like they're little bastards because, you know, I want the stamina increase. But the truth of the matter is, you know, Gildum, he likes the lizards. They're his favorite kind of animal, you know. He likes the reptiles. He likes the lizards, because, you know, they're cool. I like dinosaurs, for instance, but, you know, I don't see dinosaurs these days, because, you know, they, they kind of went extinct. You know, it's, it's just kind of what happened. On the other hand, you know what I do like? I like freaking lizards. I like reptiles. I like turtles. I like snakes. I like crocodiles. But if I have to get more specific, lizards are the best, because they look the most like dinosaurs, in my opinion. You know, they got the limbs. They got the tail. They they look like a dinosaur in a way. And all that said, I mean, the best part is the Komodo Dragon. Because, you know, the Komodo Dragon is truly the best. It's the most dinosaur-like. And it's the best, if I had to get into it. It's also the world's largest venomous lizard slash... I think it's the world's largest venomous animal. 
because you know it's got venom glands and it's got the hemotoxin and and it's amazing and i could go on all day about lizards because you know I'm, I'm just stalling at this point to be honest yeah i know we're in a forest there's probably some fruit that i missed and yeah i could i could go look for it but this has gone on long long enough you know i'm i'm just i'm just trying to explore i'm trying to take in all the scenery and you know what for the most part i've talked about how linear a lot of the paths are you know maybe you go off a little bit just to explore get get a piece of fruit hunt down a lizard but the thing is all this majesty you see it the sun in our eyes it's it, this uh, wide open field the majesty of just going here for the first time it's opened up and it's amazing or at least it's supposed to be you know it's like it's entrancing and also our destination you know it's right over there you know that's the temple entrance yeah. but i gotta digress because you know I'm, I'm not gonna do that not in this part because you know how this goes and i know a little bit longer than usual but here's the thing i'm going to that save point that save point is kind of going to be our little checkpoint our little base of operations if i can say so because i got a new segment i want to introduce and that's why i've been stalling so long you see i decided to speed things up i'm introducing this new segment which gildan is gonna call hyper exploration oh yeah it, it's pretty simple you know i decided to kind of make exploring a little more bearable because wide open field a lot to do can't really do a whole lot of things other than, you know, try to increase our stats. Uh, I feel like that's a little boring for you, the viewers. And, you know, fair enough, fair enough. I'm not here to, like, try to prolong things. But at the same time, you know, I, I feel like it, it's important to have that experience that, you know, you do. And honestly, when it comes to exploring, I feel like it's a lot more interesting for me, the player, and not so much you, the viewer, because, you know... He, it takes time to do a lot of these things, especially trying to find fruit or trying to hunt down a lizard. Unfortunate, yes, but, you know, stats and the fact that, like, pretty much everything is just a bunch of ones and zeros. I mean, and everything's just kind of like I have to, even if it's against my will. I mean, straight down to the game. But, you know, going philosophical, because, you know, I, I can. Uh, this is just this is just something that I feel like we need to do. Just just because you know I'm I'm trying to do the things I'm trying to get the most I can or at least to a certain extent, and so like I'll be much better equipped and prepared for when I go and fight a colossus. So in the next part, you know it's gonna be amazing because I'm gonna have the stamina, I'm gonna have the health, I'm gonna be all set and prepared to go take on life's greatest challenges or something along those lines. I think you get what I'm trying to say. Otherwise, I mean, this is pretty much it, you know, so I'm just I'm just being through everything, collecting all the fruit, collecting all the lizards. You got you get the idea. And that's really all there is to it. There's that's really all I can say about it. I'm not I don't at least I'm not cutting it out, you know, cuz I could and you guys would be like, "All right, he went off the bead path." And I could show you the map, but honestly, it's like this is let's play. To a certain extent, I want to show you what I'm doing, but at the same time, I don't want to bore you guys. And so this this is my best this is what I've come up with as my best solution to kind of do both, you know, kind of make things go along a lot smoother and also allow you to be like, oh, okay, all right, that I can go there, get that, and everything's good. And you know what? You can, because I did things. But as I've said before, I'm not really using a guide, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of going on one set like location, just kind of looking around, being like, okay, here's some, here's a tree there's some fruit or there's a safe shrine there's obviously got to be a lizard and that's what i do that's how i did also you can totally see the map on what i did it's up to you it's not that big of a deal but otherwise yeah i think this has kind of gone on long enough so you know i hope you enjoyed it i hope you had a lot of fun this is what it is and that's how things are done i don't know how else to word that so i'm, I'm just going the part like that all right Later. Mm -hmm.